Hi, welcome to our sixth week of Trends in Research. Um, we're such a, a small class, I can just sort of say hi to everybody. Uh, Tania and Anastasia uh, and Susan and Joseph. And I, I know there's a couple other people listed in our course, but I haven't heard from them for a while. So um, I do know the four of you are in there. Um, this week we're looking at uh, Alzheimer's disease and, and dementia care. And we're looking at it, the reason it's a trend, unfortunately, is that the number of people with Alzheimer's disease continues to grow exponentially. And the numbers are, are really quite staggering. We, we don't have very good systems for caring for people with Alzheimer's disease. So the need is gonna get greater and the solutions are pretty small. One, one of the areas where that presents an opportunity is in the whole field of care management. Um, geriatric care managers are people that work hard in community settings to work with families to help them manage the complexities of um, getting the help and services that an older adult might need. When the issues are Alzheimer's, as you might imagine, those needs are typically far greater. So, um, What's going on with Alzheimer's disease? You, you can take a look at some of the uh, PowerPoints and, and articles posted this week. Um, what do we know? We know that we know about plaques and tangles in the brain, but there's still a lot of debate as to whether or not those are symptoms of Alzheimer's disease or the cause of Alzheimer's disease. Up to this point, there has not been a definitive answer as to what causes Alzheimer's disease. There has not been a definitive solution that helps very significantly with Alzheimer's disease. There are some medications that seem to slow the progression of the disease, but that's a far cry from any sort of cure. I sure hope that we see in our lifetime, and the sooner the better, uh, a, a cure for Alzheimer's disease. It's unlikely that we'll, we'll get there for probably at least 15 years, given the recurrent research at hand. What that means is a lot of people who need services. From a diagnostic standpoint and a management standpoint, the one thing we know about Alzheimer's is that you have to look at every individual uniquely and see how the disease presents given that person's unique personality and what impact it's having cognitively on that person so that you can take steps to build a quality of life based uniquely on that person's specific needs. It's tougher when that's the answer because it would be nice to be able to have rules where when the issue is Alzheimer's, you always something or you never something. But it doesn't exist and that leaves us in with looking at individuals and asking the question what works best for this individual and why and as long as this individual is here on planet earth how can we do the best we can to create a quality of life for that person and and provide relief and support for a family system Alzheimer's disease is often called a family systems disease because the issues and behaviors related to the disease tend to impact an entire family system. Um, if you haven't been affected by this in your families, certainly you probably know someone that has uh, because it's very prevalent. So take a look at this week's materials and spend some time thinking about these issues and thinking about uh, helpful models for people suffering from Alzheimer's disease. And I hope you all have a good week and that you're making progress on your quarter research project.